No one should ever be mixing vodka and tequila in the same cup. Disclaimer, don't do this at home. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a video that I'm not really sure what's going to happen. I'm not sure what's going to be thrown at me, but I figured this would be fun and interesting. We haven't done like a Q&A on this channel in a very long time. I love me a Q&A, but Q&A is like normal ones, kind of boring. This is a way to get you guys some juicy answers and also save myself maybe if I don't want to answer them. So this will be a mixture of just random questions that you guys asked via Instagram stories. If I really don't want to answer one, then I think I have to do some sort of extreme dare that I'm not really sure, you know, what that might entail. I have no idea what's going on, but let's get into it. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm not prepped for this. Oh my God, why did I feel like I was gonna throw up? No, please don't throw up. Okay? I'm getting stage fright. Okay, go. What <laughs> happened? to Eli. What did happen to Eli? <laughs> in all seriousness, in case you don't know who Eli is, I'm sure you do though if you've been watching the channel, Eli is one of my best friends that I've known since like middle school. He was my videographer slash editor for quite a couple years actually. We are still very close. He's still one of my best friends. Unfortunately, we just kind of came to a point where I feel like we were having like some creative differences and I wanted to go in a different direction. He wanted to take his work in a different direction. So we were able to part ways. We are still great friends. I literally saw him a few days ago. Love you, Eli. You probably won't watch this, but love you. Okay, Remy, how much did you pay for your house? <gasps> What's the dare? Give me the dare. <laughs> I'm sure it's also like Google searchable. I'm sure people are searching. Did someone ask? Someone ask? Well, I mean, I would want Good question. I will say I got it for a better deal than any other yes, any of the other houses in I'm me stuttering. Any of the other houses around here. So now because I don't want to answer the question, and also I want to make this exciting for you guys, I have to do a dare. What is the dare? Run up and down the stairs five times. Oh my god. I'm not wearing a supportive bra. Okay. You ready? I'm gonna hold my boobs. Hold your boobs. I'm scared. Go. <laughs> I'm almost stuck now. She can't come downstairs. <laughs> Two. Two and a half. Good job. My legs are burning. Last time, Momo. You ready? Wow. A fit queen. Whew. She can't come downstairs yet. Oh my god. Whew. How you feeling? Out of shape. <laughs> Humbled. <laughs> Why did I think this video would be a good idea? <laughs> I know, Momo. Miss Remy, do you regret creating Honey Pop? No, I do not, actually. If you are new, back in 2018, for about a year or so, I had a skincare line called Honey Pop, which it was like this DIY face mask kit. It was really cute. It was definitely a learning experience for me. I didn't make a dollar off of it. I can say that. I partnered with a company that makes skincare products, and honestly, I really did like the product. I thought it was a really cute idea. At the time when I was first approached, I was doing a lot of DIY videos, but the whole thing took over I think the contract itself also took like almost a year like it was such a long 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 process to get to the actual final product so that by the time the product came out I feel like my brand had changed I as a person had changed and also I am NOT a skincare guru I am NOT Hiram I don't know much about skincare and I always tell people now like oh my gosh if I came out with it now whoo I don't think it would have been a good thing. But overall, I learned so much about the process. The partners themselves were amazing. And actually now moving forward, whenever I do a project, I keep in mind how great they were to work with. And I always kind of use that as an example now. Do not regret it. Had a really good time, learned a lot, and yeah. When does your merch drop? <gasps> I'm not sure, but I actually do have the samples and I forgot to tell you the sample box is here today. Oh my God, wait, should I tell them about the, the first merch? Okay, okay guys, I have to tell you a story. So I've never done my own clothing merch just because I don't think I'm very stylish and I don't know how to like design things like that. And so finally, April 2020, about a year ago, I had like one idea and I was really excited about the idea in my head. I just don't know, I'm not a graphic designer. I don't know how to like make it on like, you know, like a, a like a picture layout. Am I saying this right? I don't, know. I don't know how to do that. So I went to the merch company that I was working with and I was like, hi, this is my one broad idea. And I thought it was really cute. Can you guys take my idea and mock it and then come up with a bunch of other design ideas. And then from there I can like elaborate and you know, figure it out. This was a year ago, okay? And I put out this tweet that was like, guys, I'm so excited. I waited this long. I'm so excited. Cause I really was. I had like the one idea I thought was stellar. 
I will insert some of the photos here if I am legally allowed to. Honestly, I didn't even know what to do with the designs. I completely like abandoned ship for a few months. I was like, I just don't know if this is for me anymore. I don't know, maybe not. And so someone replied to that tweet yesterday and put, how's this going, dot, 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 or something like that. Ooh. But I will say, over the past year, I've started working with a new graphic designer whom I love, a graphic designer that knows my brand personally a little bit more. And she and I have been working together to come up with some great designs for you guys. The samples did arrive today. I promise it will be coming, I'm guessing within the next like month or two because I just have to approve these things and then it's on its way. So that's where it's been, I'm sorry. Why did you stop going to your nutritionist? I actually only went to that nutritionist for like three months or so. It felt much longer. But I went from January 2020 to, or 20, was it 2019? Oh my God, it was 2019. I went for three consecutive months and then I ended up traveling a lot. April's always like a crazy travel month. Back in 2019, it was like Coachella. So I was at festivals and then we did the Pretty Basic Tour and then we had YouTube Creator Summit. So I was gone for the whole month. For me sitting here right now, the reason why I don't want to go back is I just realized that way of eating personally isn't for me. I didn't like the mindset that it put me in. And also having like certain amount of meals per day, eating if you're like not hungry, like things like that were just hard for me to wrap my brain around. But I've just learned that exact diet was not for me. So that's why I haven't gone back. This is a little rank situation. Oh no. Uh, Alicia, Lauren, Mia, and Tiff. <laughs> you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> What's the dare? <laughs> you're gonna eat a rock piece of garlic. Oh, I can do that, I'm Korean. <laughs> A Korean side dish is just straight up like garlic cloves. You can grill it, but I usually just eat like a big slice raw with my food. She is cleansed. I'm a little nervous actually. I think I was too confident before. It is healthy. Mmm, not bad. Just not good. Mm. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> oh, spicy. Uh. Meanest YouTuber you've ever met. Give me a dare. <laughs> I want you to pick 10 different things from your bar cart, mix them together, and take a shot. Ew! No one should ever be mixing vodka and tequila in the same cup. Disclaimer, don't do this at home. This is what I'm scared about, sake. Ooh! Oh, I don't like this smell. Can we get a bowl for in case I vomit? This is the good stuff. Soju is delicious. Thank you, my yakking bowl. Oh, we got pink Whitney. Oh, God! I don't want, I really don't want to. Oh my God, I'm so scared actually. Blue cures out, ew. This literally is an AMF. I would have rather done a truth or drink. I'd rather be plastered right now. Gotta get my chaser. Are you ready? No. It's just one shot, you got this. You wanna do it? Not bad. <laughs> it tasted good. What the f Did you just invent something? Oh, there's an, oh. oh. <laughs> I actually felt something in my heart stop for a second. I've had much worse and I've paid it for it at a bar and it's been much worse. All right, next question, queen. Yes. What do you do with all the PR you don't use? Oh, okay, I actually, if I have something that I know like someone specific in my life will absolutely love, I'll give it to them, whether it's Wit, Sarah, my mom, friends, whoever. And then anything that's left, I'll just keep it in a box and then every like couple months or so, we'll go donate it to a local women's shelter. A lot of them will use them if they're getting ready for like job interviews and things like that. That's what I do with it all. What is the most expensive purchase that you regret buying? Oh, I know. It's a pair of shoes that I bought. I don't even know what they're called, but they're from Gucci. I bought them when I went to Paris. I was so excited because <laughs> they're not only platform sneakers, they also have three layers of Swarovski crystals all around the base of them. They have had a good life. I have worn them quite a few times, but definitely one of my bigger regrets. What was your biggest fight ever with Alicia? Ooh. We've never had a big blow up fight. Let me call her. <laughs> Oh my god, she just texted me. Hey bitch. Hey bitch. Um, I will come pick you up tonight. Also, what was our biggest fight we ever had? Probably the New York one. And that wasn't even big. Oh <laughs> thank you. Okay, I'll text you when I'm done. Love you. <laughs> oh, <geez>. So <laughs> the scene, New York. <laughs> I think what happened was we met up with some of my old high school friends while we were out there. They all wanted to go somewhere and I just, the one of the guys there I didn't like, I didn't know that well and I didn't trust. And Alicia was like, let's go. And I was like, no, we're not gonna go. And we got into a big fight over that because I was like, you don't trust me. And then she was like, no, I just wanna have fun. I was like, no, you need to trust me. Also, we were definitely drunk. So you know, it's just like, no. 
help, but eventually she ended up trusting me and I ended up explaining everything later. Trust your girl, you know, trust your bitch. The OG fans wanna know, what happened to I'm on vacation tonight? I'm gonna leave you behind. We're gonna get a copyright strike. To the OG vlog viewers, you know that I did indeed use a wonderful, beautifully produced song for a couple years as my vlog intro. It still is one of my favorite songs to this day, but as we all know, you cannot use copyrighted songs on YouTube videos, otherwise you will get a copyright strike or you have to pay for the licensing fee. So I ended up having to pay for the licensing fee, rightfully so. And then moving forward, I was given the opportunity to license it furthermore and I just decided, you know what, I think we can move on. Also, I just feel like as a brand, I was ready to like move to something different. I love my vlog intro right now. If you wanna go check it out, you can. But yeah, that's where the song went. Ollie really wants to know. I'm sure he wants to so know. What does Ollie want to know? <laughs> Is Romy a top or bottom? <laughs> Top. I think I've said that before too, actually. No new news here. What are your views on plastic surgery and would you ever get it? Ooh, my views are that absolutely everybody should do whatever the heck you want to do with your body. I technically, I don't know if it counts as plastic surgery, but I got my ear cut and sewn up by a plastic surgeon. If you want to do that, do that. Whatever you want to do. If you want to get a BBL and a everything, not my body, I don't care. So that's my views. Would I ever get it? Possibly. I am considering getting a breast reduction. Like you literally see me, I'm like always like toppled over my back hurts a lot I feel like I can't wear a lot of different clothes and things like even today wearing this bra I keep like pulling it up I'm like nervous I am just like a little scared to go under the knife that's why I've been a little bit hesitant but everyone I've talked to has said that it's like the best decision they've ever made so I'm kind of in the middle right now but open to it totally think that everyone should do whatever they want which ex-friend are you considering reconnecting with none Absolutely zero. But not for it in a mean way. I just think honestly, whatever ex-friend it is, I can say I am a very different person than I was back then. I know those people are probably different people. Maybe it could work out and we could be good friends again, but I just feel like it's not a risk I'm willing to take. And I am very happy right now, so I'm good. What do you and Cal fight about the most? Ooh. <laughs> Spending time together and I think that has to do with the fact that we are in this house together pretty much all the time Sometimes I really want to spend time together and he wants to do his own thing and then vice versa Finding that sweet spot of having a normal life while living in the same house 24 7 and still making time for each other and making time for other people and making time for ourselves So other than that, we're like we are really 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 good. Do you love Daisy or Momo more? Equal. I actually mean that though I called my mom after I had Mo and I was like I get now what you mean you love us equally Sometimes you love one a little more than the other. It's like one chews up some toilet paper. It's everywhere Then you're like Daisy. I love you more for today, but like overall you love them both the same the most forced collab you've ever participated in <laughs> I'm gonna take the dare on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I thought of someone, but I will not be saying it because there is a scandal also going on right now and I don't wanna insert myself. Okay, I want you to put the oldest selfie that you have on your phone. On the screen? And post it on your Instagram. No! I've scrolled back to my first selfie that I can find on my phone. January 10th, 2017. This was a photo of me sending a picture to my mom while I was in Hawaii because I was nervous that I was going to die. That's because I was wearing a backpack and I I went around to get the car keys. I suddenly screamed. All of a sudden, I was in excruciating pain. I looked. I still to this day don't know what kind of bug it was. I've never seen a bug like this before. Its stinger was in my arm. I freaked out, screamed, swatted it, but the stinger was in me, so I had to take it out. As the days went on, as we can see here, the redness and irritation did build. I did have to go to the urgent care. Who is your dream collaborator? Ooh, okay, I think first of all, Chrissy Teigen. If not Chrissy Teigen, um, I'm obsessed with Lana Condor. I want to do a mukbang with her. I mean, <gasps> Ariana Grande, obviously. I think those are my top three. I love them all so much. All right, Remy, uh, when are you getting married and having babies? <gasps> Here's my plan. I'm not really like a five-year plan person. This is just like the broad range of what I'm thinking though. I'm cool with getting engaged in like 2022, maybe 2023, year-long engagement, work on the wedding, have the wedding 2024 or so, and then wait a couple more years and then have babies after. Maybe I'll be like 31, 32 when I have a baby. Not really sure. Okay, Woo! last question. Last question. I know it's gonna be bad. Yeah. What is your worst hookup story? Oh. 
<laughs> oh no. Every time I hooked up with someone when I wasn't supposed to, that's that one. Can I tell the drug dealer story or yeah. am I, should I not say that one? One time, one of my friends, who I will not name because I'm sure they don't want to be included in the story, and I went home with a couple guys who indeed were roommates. And they were roommates. <laughs> oh, they were roommates. <laughs> and then they went and did their thing. I did my thing. Well, we were about to like separate for the night, you know? You know when you like go <laughs> to like a hookup and you like sit at the edge of the bed and you're just like waiting, you're kind of like standing in the corner. And then my best friend came over and was like, Remy, I think they're drug dealers. And I was like, what? And she was like, something weird happened in the bathroom. And she had gone into the bathroom and found a wad of cash, like, and the guy like came in and like was like, oh, and like grabbed it and walked out. And so I was like, that's really like odd. I looked over at the bookshelf and there were two wads of cash there. And then the guy came in and like grabbed the money again. And then we were like, this is, this is, Strange. And then we hooked up and then we went home. <laughs> that was actually like the tail end of my single journey. After that, I was like, we should do some reflection room. Then I met Cal, now we're here. Somehow I made it through this video. That was honestly very fun. I love these little girl chats that we have. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you wanna see more videos like this, this was great. Loved the questions, keep them coming. Keep asking questions, keep being curious. Love you, bye.